All right, shaking up the paint. The paint that I'm using is the Airvo Military Digital Pattern Camo Paint. Since I'm doing a Marpat, uh, it's based on the UM, USMC Digital Marpat um, for desert. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. It's obviously not going to be the perfect, but nothing in life is perfect, so just got to suck it up and move on. Uh, the color I'm using uh, for the lightest is going to be 1079 light tan. Um, the next shade that I'll be using, basically I covered everything in light tan, just monochromatic one everything. And then what I'll do is I'll take the darker series of colors and put them in <clears throat> over the over the lightest and just keep you know basically <laughs> keep plugging away because it takes a while to do it this way but uh, the effect I think is, is better than anything else I've seen I, I've never tried any other stencils or templates or anything like that this just this works for me so sticking with it although it does take some time just setting stuff up all right so you just want to be careful too, like I said, watch your overspray. And uh, obviously use safety glasses, a dust mask, uh, gloves, if you don't want to get paint all over your fingers because you'll get paint on your fingers as you pull the template away. So, but this is just a demonstration. All right. Basically what I try for is give the heavier shots in the middle and then just kind of spray it around the edges here. With short bursts, that just kind of allows on a little, a little more even coverage with this paint. Um, as you can see, I got a little bit of wind over here, so I don't know. We'll just try my best. You don't want to spray it on too thick, otherwise it's going to come out kind of shiny, which is what we're trying to avoid with flat paint. So that's so why I just kind of give it quick burst, like I said, around the edges, just so I get good coverage, and not without overdoing it. In the middle is, I don't know pretty much gets a little bit more and uh, that's about it what I'll do is uh, I'll let it dry a little bit and uh, go ahead and I'll pull everything uh, across you know pull everything out and uh, without crossing up the paint because it's still gonna be a little bit moist so just be got to be careful when you're taking these things out uh, so we'll just pretend like our time has gone by and uh, go ahead and set those aside try and keep these templates on someplace that's uh, flat like with uh, the small ones I just use a piece of flat cardboard but with the larger ones I have a uh, piece of sheet metal that I keep them stored on that kind of keeps them flat so that way you just stick it right to the sheet metal they stay flat and uh, they're always ready for use all right let's set this back here pull the magnets up I found magnets with steel bodies. I mean, just painting the stuff with using magnets and just quick and easy, you know, a couple of sheets of construction paper. I mean, hell, you can get it at Walmart or New York supply store. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this back and see what we got. Voila. Had a little bit of overspray over here. Or not overspray, but obviously the pattern lifted a little bit, but... I think you get a pretty good idea of what you know we're trying to do here. And then later on using the same process you would come in and do the brown and everything else. The other darker colors. But like I said, you'll just build up, you know, uh, like I said, the lighter base coat, the next darkest color, the next darkest color. Um, with the Aerovo stuff, um, the kit they sell, the next darkest color, you would start off with the 1079 light tan is the base. Then you go to the 1078 urban tan, which would be this color here, the secondary color. The third color is 1081 uh, light coyote, and that will be the next darkest color I'll be using. And then uh, the Highland, I believe, is the next darkest color.
and that is uh, 1080 Highland would be the very darkest color you'll be using so anyways in my next installment I guess we'll uh, put a darker color on it just kind of show you how to you know once again just arrange everything and how you can change things around and how you can replicate the pattern